everybody. It is National Gingerbread Day, and I am Meg Lewis, Communications Manager for the City of Independence. I'm Frank Burrell, Assistant Director of Attraction Services with the Independence Parks, Recreation, and Tourism Office. And we are going to answer some holiday questions as we decorate these gingerbread houses. <laughs> Christmas Vacation, um, the Home Alone and Home Alone 2 movies, and then the Santa Claus 1, 2, and 3 have to be played at some point during the month of December. For me, it would be Miracle on 34th Street and It's a Wonderful Life. Just traditional movies that get you in the holiday spirit and with a wonderful life, it just makes you realize that every person counts. Do you want to answer this one first? <laughs> um, hmm. Ho, 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 who wouldn't know or go? Um, probably just because I already fit the part of Jolly O.L. I would do Carol of the Bells, partially because there's so many different versions of it, so I would never get bored. There are so many things to do. I agree. I, I know that uh, the Living Windows is a more recent tradition that has started up on the Independence Square, but you talk about it's a wonderful life, bringing that hometown feel to life on the square. I was there and there were people everywhere enjoying the sights, the sounds of Christmas. It, it was a, a beautiful time. Independence is a big, small town, yes. so having all of these different holiday gatherings are beautifully decorated. Um, historic homes. When you go to the historic homes for, for a Christmas tour, you see all the lights and decorations and come up with some unique ideas of things you might not have ever thought of before. We have a Santa's hat that goes on our treetop <laughs> because um, we have so many different types of ornaments. We just let that be a simple thing on top. Always a Christmas angel for, for my trees. Yes. Both? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting frosty. <laughs> I am allergic to Christmas trees. No! <laughs> so I have to have an artificial tree. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. No, no judgment, no shame, no, no, nothing like that. Um, but um, yeah, that's that would be a hard thing uh, not to have a real tree. Snow on Christmas is phenomenal. I think I liked it more when I was a kid than I like it now. How else are you going to see the reindeer hooves? <laughs> oh, the yellow is working. It wasn't, it wasn't opening up. I'm like, I can't get it to work. The tubed icing is never super easy to use, so it's um, getting it to stick on gingerbread as best I can, right? That was my approach. I definitely agree with that. It, it, it definitely is whatever sticks. It's trying to have balance and color. You know, you gotta have some texture. You gotta be able to make sure you cover all the little nooks and crannies. Add a little snowflake here or there. Yes, this is not how I would approach actually decorating my house for Christmas, <laughs> but talking and decorating is also uh, more challenging than you would think. Not for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are out of time, so let's see how our houses have turned out so far. Very edible. There's a lot of uh, sweet <laughs> house. I don't know that it's super visually appealing. <laughs> if you don't have a sweet tooth, don't come to my house. <laughs> it's been fun spending a little while getting to know you better over at Gingerbread. It is always fun to talk to you. and. We look forward to seeing everybody um, having a safe and happy holiday here in Independence. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. <laughs>